Hello everybody, welcome to the Prime Movers Podcast episode here at Images Art Festival in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. This is a yearly art festival highlighting this year 237 national artists. Let's go. I'm finna go say yeah! I'm finna go say yeah! Not really this time. Everybody, here's Ann Schroeder. Out of, grew up in the Keys, did you say? Yeah, born and raised in the Florida Keys. Painting on feathers by hand, very intricate. Yeah, so I grew up working on dive boats down there, so you'll see all my old nautical charts here, but yep. growing up in the Keys, I didn't want to do all the same tourist stuff that I saw down there, and okay. it was really frustrating because I'd see so-called celebrities that didn't have an original thought in their head. Right. I never painted Keys artwork until 16 years ago, wow. because my my big influences are like Salvador Dali, Caravaggio, yeah. and uh, George O'Keefe. And 16 years ago, this hit from out of the blue. I'd never seen it before, never heard of it. I wanted to do something unique, and this is what showed up, literally. Right. Uh, it, and I'm able to incorporate the seashells and bones and things that I find when I'm beachcombing or hiking, so I can make the pieces like three-dimensional shadow boxes. Yeah, it's amazing. The feathers are all naturally shed, and they're sourced through parrot rescue groups and okay. rubber breeding programs. And I always list the, the birds that shed the feathers on the back of each piece. Uh, but pieces like this, the feathers are hard to come acquire, so to get this many feathers so I could do a large piece, I yeah. took 10 years to acquire oh that my many goodness. Uh, blue and gold macaw tail feathers to create the medallion and about two months of working time in the piece. That's once incredible. I, once I had enough feathers to do a large thing. Uh, my background is also museum framing, so every, all the originals get museum glass and museum archival treatment on them. Unbelievable. Can I ask you a, a very, uh, well, an interesting question to me? Is there an easier feather to paint on? Yes. There is? Yeah, some feathers are easier than others. So yeah. the real broad, flat feathers, like the domestic heritage breed turkeys, okay. have the mo the ones that are the most cooperative to paint on. Yeah. The big macaw tail feathers, where they have the very uh, very dimensional. Those make it the hardest. And okay. What makes it even more difficult is I learned the hard way that you can't glue the feathers together right. first to do the painting because it'll ruin the feathers. Wow. So as I'm painting, that's what's actually gluing the feathers the, together. The paint is the paint gluing. Is what's binding no it way. Together. Wow. Wow. So large pieces like the the horse or the angel fish, those will have up to 40 layers of paint into them. Wow. The time so I'm that's going. the actual glue. That's is the, the paint. glue that yeah. holds the feathers well, together. That's, that's interesting, yeah. Wouldn't have thought that. It's very, so detailed and precise. It's just, that's beautiful. Very, brilliant, brilliant, yeah. Very delicate, done just layer by layer and building it up. Yeah. And so you've done this now for quite 16, 16 years. years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. Well, Ann, it's been a pleasure to speak with you. Pleasure to meet pleasure you. To meet Thank you. you so much. Thanks for your time today. Thank you. And uh, where can we find your art online? Well, is there a website, website or? I have samples of my artwork, but because it's okay. a slow process, you're looking at all my available originals right now. Okay. If not, ansfeatherart.com. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Ann. Thank you Pleasure so to much. meet you. Pleasure to meet Thanks, you. Thanks, guys. Have Thank you. Cool. Hey there, guys. This is Steven Stubbs out of New Smyrna Beach. He does actual film photographs. Photography, photography, excuse me. How are you, Steven? I'm doing pretty good. A little chilly out, but uh, I'm doing pretty it good. It is. It is cold for Florida today. Um, if you don't mind, just give me a run through of your work. That'd be really cool. Yeah, like of to, course. Uh, uh, okay, we showcase over here. Um, this is uh, just a little portrait called "Don't Bother Me." Okay. Uh, shot in 2021. Everything here is shot off 35 millimeter film. Wow. And um, I just really wanted to go for a cinematic approach on this photo. That's cool. It's uh, very uh, mundane, very still, chill, okay. nothing too over the top. Um, this one is one of my personal favorites. It's called uh, My Distant Twisted Fantasy. It's uh, very uh, different than my other portraits, but um, I like this the best because it's very uh, unorthodox, yeah. very uh, dark, dystopian, but it also uh, gives you a little insight really on cool. what it is. I like that. Yeah. It's kind of. It's really kind of a little bit blurred, but yeah, a little bit distorted blurred. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. And then, what um, do we have here? This one we have the apology from my series called Poolside Chivalry. Okay. Um, this was actually shot on accident. Yeah. Um, we had a piece of uh, his watch was refracted off the sunlight and caused the image in the wall. So wow. I accidentally just it wasn't so by it was no it was by on, chance just by chance and that's uh, cool. I was looking through the photos and I just ended up keeping that one because it okay. was just really cool. Yeah. Yeah, and then that's we excellent. have uh, the break. Up, just like a nice subtle picture. Yep. Don't really give you too much insight to who the character is, but you know, 
he's definitely going through something. Yeah, yeah. And then we have a speeding bullet to heaven. Okay. This one I just named randomly, kind of a offset photo, kind of took on accident. Yeah. Uh, I just liked the way the vine of the leaves was sticking up and yeah, that's just kind cool. of looked like a ramp to heaven. So I just called it speeding bullet to heaven. Nice. Just an all That's red. really cool. Yeah. Blurred emotions. We have blurred emotions. This one was shot on accident as well. Okay. Um, strictly off Portra 400 film, because I really like using film. Um, this one was actually shot in the studio. Yep. But um, it was like, it was like, kind of on accident but cool. it's one of my favorite shots and then we just got a simple portrait shot her name was Jordan nothing too crazy on that one just a nice yeah. little portrait studio yeah. shot you're out of New Smyrna Beach yes sir New right Smyrna. here local Steve, yep, you're local. local out of New Smyrna Beach locally um, yep. you caught my eye walking by here so we're yeah. just walking through all the artists yeah, and definitely. anything catches my eye I want to have a chat so yeah I really appreciate pleasure you guys to meet you. And, yeah uh, definitely I want to do that one too, if you don't mind. That's really cool. Which I like one? that this behind the flower. Here. This one. Uh, okay, yeah. At first this sight. This one's uh, at first sight. It's kind of a just. Uh, I wanted to go for a heartbreak kind of theme with this whole series. Yeah. So it's kind of a like someone picking flowers. She loves me. She loves me not kind of deal. Yeah. So that's kind of the deal that I want to go with this and. Sweet. Just like all the others, you don't really get to know her face. Right. So that's kind of the whole story behind it. Cool. And then uh, same with this one. This is the main my main picture of, of poolside chivalry. Okay. The title. Um, this Full side chivalry, yep. Yep, it's just a nice classic shot. Uh, yeah. Doesn't give you too much inside, but it's kind of a, I like to think of this as like a magazine shot. Yeah. Kind of like came out of a magazine. It looks like Vogue or something. Nice and clean, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> GQ. Yeah, I, like so that, I just wanted man. to go for something nice and different. Yeah. But yeah. Hey, um, if you don't mind, where can we find your, um, where do we find your art? You have a website, you got yeah, Instagram, so, what your platforms are you so on? So I have an Instagram, it's at Steph at Flashpoint, S-T-E-P-H-A-T Flashpoint okay. dot com. And then that's my website as well, as well as my Instagram. So go check that out. Mr. Steven Stubbs here, yes, up and coming artist. Uh, give this guy a follow and check out his work online and it's been a pleasure to talk to you. Yes sir, thank you. Have a good day. Yes. We're here with Yoram Gal and his unique form of artwork here. Can you just give us a background of how you got started in this? Age 12, I was in high school in London. I grew up in London, although okay. I'm Israeli. And my art teacher said, suddenly have fun. And I said, what, fun? I don't have to get things right, just have fun. And I did, and that's how yeah. I started painting. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. Um, all done by hand, very intricate. How long from start to finish does it roughly take you to do one of these pieces? Do you just do it as you go? Is it, there's no time, just as you come, become inspired to paint? Sometimes I finish a piece very quickly, right. and sometimes I go back to it back and forth over years. Wow. There are pieces here that were signed in 2012 and finished now. There yeah. are pieces that went in half a day. Wow. There's no rhyme. There is no time in art, really. No, it's, it's when just... it's finished. Sometimes you get lazy, yeah. you sign it, you put it out, you look at it once, twice, then you say, it's not really finished, I was lazy. You take it back, you work <laughs> on it again. Right. Fighting laziness is the main task. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> so it just comes with, when you're inspired to paint, is when you paint. No, no, I paint every morning. Every from morning. From 5.30, 6 a.m. till I collapse around 7 a.m. Every day. Every day when I'm not traveling wow. or selling, yeah. I paint, I also write. That's excellent. But I paint with one break in the middle of the day. Yeah. What do you feel your, your, is it coming from inside what you're painting? You, you, what's your favorite uh, to paint? Is it just my images of, yeah, what's your favorite? Everything, but my favorite is around the corner. It's the Dance of Wisdom. Dance you of Wisdom. You gotta film that because the will. Dance of Wisdom, I will explain, okay. is my favorite. Two judges were here and they both raved about that Loved painting. It. It's nothing like anything you've seen and that's my favorite. Can we? Yeah. Let's have a look at that, yeah. There's the judge, she was talking about this for a long time. Okay. So you want, that's my favorite. Oh, that's beautiful. But you don't even know what it is. It's called the Dance of Wisdom, I'll explain if you want. Yeah. These are people who change the world, geniuses, or people like Jesus and Moses and Edison and Freud, Lao Tzu, Dostoevsky, Lenin, McCartney, Mozart, Obama, Joplin, Jobs, God, Adam and Eve, they all ate the apple of wisdom from the tree of knowledge. Right. The animals did not and they're looking with jealousy and envy at the people who did and they changed the world. Yes. We were supposed not to eat the apple. And this is me telling religion okay. to fuck off. <laughs> That's it. Religion ruins <laughs> the world as the root of all evil. This is my statement. 
Excellent. Thank you for your time. Hello, guys. I'm here with Mr. Dennis DeBron, an artist that does energy web glass by hand. Where where where'd your inspiration come to start this artwork? Actually, the inspiration. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like. Uh, do you remember Thomas Edison? Of course. He said uh, inspiration is 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration. Okay. So um, back in the late. Uh, Nine, well, 1999, 1987, uh -huh. uh, I've been working with a lot of glass, doing a lot of glass sculptures and things right. like that. And, um, and then after that, uh, the uh, psychedelic drugs I took back in the 70s kicked <laughs> yeah, in they're strong. in the year 2000. <laughs> and uh, I came up with this concept of uh, this making is, energy webs. It's amazing. It's yeah. very, very individual to yourself. I've never seen anything like it before, so... Yeah, beautiful. I invented this whole new form of artwork. It's beautiful, yeah. It's reverse painting on glass and spin art, those two techniques put together. Wow. So what I do is I start with big sheets of plate glass. Yeah. I cut it into square sizes first, uh, and I have different size pieces, 12 inch, 18 inch, 24 inch there next to you. Okay. I start with square pieces of glass, I freestyle hand cut it, so they're all shaped a little bit differently. Yep. Then I come back and I scallop all the edges on it and I polish them down. Yep. And then what I do is reverse painting on glass. Right. Because this is the front of my canvas right here. Wow. So I have to think in reverse because I'm, a, I'm layering my paints this way. Okay. So um, it's reverse painting on glass. Right. And then I also use centrifugal force. Okay. Uh, I spin my glass in order to get some of the looks in the pieces. And they all have different so looks to them. So that's where you get your edges coming with the, yeah. yeah. So that's it with a little bit of light on it. That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Back every, every one of these is every one. Every piece is different. Every so piece is one, is, totally is one of a kind. One of a kind. Yeah. I can't create two exactly alike. No. Even if I tried, I couldn't do it. Okay. Which is um, it's kind of a neat thing. Oh, 100%. Yeah. yeah so it's when everybody a, when then, when one anyone off. has one of a, a, a piece in their house, they know that they have the only one like it in the world. Special to that that piece and that piece only. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's it take from start to finish to to um, I guess it's it's not really you're not on a time frame you just do it as you go right but I mean um, in the process you'd it's be... about if you ask me how long it takes yeah uh, and, it's and about a about... three to four day process okay and I don't do like one at a time I'm doing more I'm doing multiple pieces at you a are. time so I'm maybe cutting one day and uh, like I said I freestyle hand cut it so they're all shaped a little bit differently um, maybe cut the squares and then freestyle hand cut it yeah and then I'll come back and maybe scallop another day and polish down another day and then uh, okay. come back and uh, paint it, spin it, and they're all fired in a kiln. So, uh, and then I have to, they have to be uh, heated up and then cooled back down again. They're all wow. hand signed. Wow. So, there's a lot of work involved. Oh, 100%. It looks, uh, looks like it's very, very, um, it's, <laughs> it's so unique to, very particular and everything with it. It's, yeah. It's, 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 yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah. Beautiful. I love all these too, all the different colors you get through. Yeah, I've, it's taken me quite a few years now. Like I you said, you started I, this, I didn't mean to cut you off, but what year was yeah. it you started doing these? 2000. 2000. That's when the uh, psychedelic drugs kicked in from the 70s. <laughs> but I just want you Re to know something. <laughs> That's really not true. It's not true. Okay. Okay. Hey. They, they kicked in in the 70s. They didn't wait. Yeah. So, um, what no. do they say? They can sometimes they can show up later in life? I don't know. I don't, I, know. I don't they, really I, know about I that. Don't I'm just kidding. I've heard. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't know. I, I really don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, 22 years later, here we are. This is, uh, yeah, yeah, it's excellent though. I, uh, I'm inspired by looking at it and I'd love to get a piece down the well, line. I know everything's sold, but I can get something worked out with you for sure. Yeah. Where do we, where does everybody find, Dennis, your, your art? I mean, online. Energy we Webs. What? Okay. Energywebs.com. Energywebs.com for mm -hmm. everybody to go check it out. And I'm sure you do online orders if somebody's interested Absolutely. from out of, yeah? Yeah, just kind of contact me, email me, and I can uh, send you pictures or whatever I have okay. in my inventory at the time. And it's good if you know what size you want. If they want a particular color, is that possible? Do you sort of. That, or are you kind yeah, of? sort of. You know, I have my blues, I have my reds, yeah. I have my greens. Yeah. Okay. I have my multicolor pieces. Okay. So yeah, I can kind of work with people. But you just kind of, if I was to get a piece, I'd love it. leave it up to your interpretation what you what you feel at the time to do, so, yeah. uh, so that's art. Yeah. So, well, hey, look, it's a pleasure to meet yeah. you. And uh, some inspiring some inspiring individual pieces that are like no other that I've seen, so. Uh -huh. yeah. Hello, everybody, I'm here with John Chang, painting out of Orlando, Florida. All of this is his personal work, all done by hand. Pretty interesting takes on the Mona Lisa, as you can see, and others. What gave you inspiration to do all the paintings? Uh, 
I think that's uh, from my experience or yeah. I watch the people, you know, so m most uh, image impression is from that. From that, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I paint a lot of especially female, the girl. Females, yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. It's really cool, unique interpretation, like I said. Yeah. Now you've uh, seen it, I like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, said, yeah. Walking through town. Mm -hmm. um, how long have you been painting for? Whole life. Whole life. I started six years old. Wow. I uh, started 10. Yeah. Then I won the award in Taiwan. Taiwan. Then I started in Tokyo. Oh, wow. And uh, did a okay. uh, per, uh, one man show in, in the museum, too. Oh, yeah? yeah. Museum, okay. So. Did you say you did work? You had a painted out of New York as well? Uh, yeah. A bit, yeah? Okay. Yeah, I've been in New York 50 years. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's it's now excellent. still in New York. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. What brought you to Orlando, though? Warmer weather? Or uh, to Florida? Near U Universal Studio. Oh, okay. Yeah, convenient. Oh, yeah, cool, yeah. cool. So how long have you been in the area for? Uh, about 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. Yeah, you enjoy it, Florida? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, I enjoy the weather. Okay. <laughs> where can we find your work? Obviously here today, uh, but where do we go to look at? The website, maybe you can see some even from 1980, 90 or now, you know. Okay. Just put my name, show up, all kind. <laughs> okay, is it just your name? Continuous yeah, thought? John Chen Art. Yeah. John Chen Art. J-O-H-N-C-H-E-N-G. Yeah. Correct. Art. Right. Dot com? Uh-huh. JohnChangArt.com, everybody. Uh -huh. Check out this uh, really, really unique art that John does. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank Pleasure. you for your interview. Thank you. Thank you. Hope thank you we John. have a good day. He's here with Clayton Schwartz. He does all of these handmade sculptures, and he's going to show me his work. How you doing, Clayton? Good. Good. All, all the sculptures are aluminum. Okay. To start, it's all welded fabrication, and um, I finish the pieces with an airbrush, and it's all, uh, and I use a, an automotive finish. Okay. So it's all perfect for outdoors or indoors. Okay. Uh, ready to go. Amazing. And how, uh, how how long have you been doing this this art for? So. Um, I mean, I started my my journey into art, you know, probably in middle school. Middle school. Uh, but uh, I have a bachelor's degree in painting and sculpture, oh, wow. okay. and uh, from U University of South Florida. Yep. And I've been f a full-time artist for 17 years. Oh, uh, that's so, uh, it's been, you know, the the pieces initially uh, were a little rougher. Every yeah. year, I try to be better and, and do better and, and perfect and make yeah, everything. Yeah. You know, where do, where do people go to find your art? Um, do you have a website? Yeah, so uh, ClaytonSwartz.com. ClaytonSwartz.com. Yep, that's the website, and uh, I also have a gallery in okay. Pinellas Park. In Pinellas Park. Yeah. Okay. So, it, you know, the address is on the website. If you find that, if you happen to be in the area, come by. How long does a piece take you, roughly? So it really depends on the sculpture, but, um, and I don't measure things by the hours. Uh, it really, because I work on yeah. so many different things throughout uh, every day. Uh -huh. um, uh, you know, it, it could be a week for a small piece, right. like a small heart, or uh, and then months for the larger pieces. Like, um, I not only do shows, or I mean, sculptures that, that work in the gallery for like gallery size but I do public art so oh wow um, large scale That's a piece in, in like a, in a park in yeah That's yeah amazing. so large scale works um, largest sculpture I've done was about 40 foot yeah. tall wow. um, but yeah. but I do um, where is that you know, piece this piece is in Largo Central Park oh wow front yeah amazing how long did that take that took about six months six months yeah wow it's a pleasure to meet you yeah and thank you for your time. I know you're a busy man here with everybody looking at it. Alrighty. But thanks, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning in to the Prime Movers podcast today here at Images Art Festival in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. It's a great day talking to some inspirational and influential artists. I'm glad you checked it out. Please subscribe to the YouTube or check us out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify platforms for your listening pleasure. We'll be back with more in the future. Thank you.